And it's time now to get to our newsmaker, which is a unified tech platform launched by a food and agri-tech uh, concern. And it is all about uh, being the technical arm for a number of similar companies in the food economy. Now, one of India's leading food and agrotech companies, Waycool, has announced that it will be launching its tech arm called Senza, which will make and sell a unified tech platform for the food economy. It will be a fully owned subsidiary of Waycool and has been set up with an initial investment of $20 million, but is expected to pool in $40 million more from Waycool in the coming three years. Senza promises to be a solution covering functions like farm tech, processing tech, distribution tech and consumer tech among others and stakeholders won't need multiple apps for performing different tasks and let's find out more about it joining us uh, on india ideas uh, today is uh, avinash krishna kumar kasi nathan he's the ceo of uh, senza next systems which is a way cool enterprise welcome to you avinash uh, first uh, tell us what does it really mean when it said that uh, Senza will make and sell a unified tech platform for the food economy, and how will it do that without the use of multiple apps? Good evening, Gautam. Thanks a lot for having me on the show as well. So what Senza has built uh, for the food economy, first with Vekul and now for the other clients as well, is one integrated platform with a common backend across all the stakeholders in the food value chain, whether it's for the farmers, the processing units, warehouses, transporters, retailers are the end consumers as well. So what this helps is all the players have real time so a source of single source of truth and are able to therefore work and make decisions resulting in efficiency across the value chain, which is very critical in a space such as the food value chain, where there's a lot of wastage as well. What we have also ma managed to do, and it's critical uh, core to what Sensor's platform is, is to ensure that all the functions relevant to any stakeholder is on one application. So I'll just give an example uh, on, for the, on this case. Let's take the example of a distributor. Okay. So a distributor typically uh, works, I mean, needs to track his sales executives going on beats, needs to track the vehicles doing the delivery for or the fulfillment of all the supplies, and separately needs to ca keep track of credit and collections from the various retail stores. What you have in the market is three different applications doing this, uh, I mean, serving this purpose for the distributor. This is not useful at all for a distributor because these three, uh, the distributor has to then open up three applications. You need data to seamlessly flow between all these applications, which need not necessarily happen. And you may have data leakages or data lags, which will all cause inconvenience in operations. So this friction in operations is what is completely eliminated with Sensor's platform, which has all these three parts, the Salesforce automation, the fulfillment uh, tracking, as well as credit and collections management in one application itself, which creates convenience to the distributors. So this is an example. And similarly, for all the other stakeholders, what we have done is take the practitioner's view as someone like Vekul being in the uh, industry for so long okay. and look at all the problem statements which are there for every one of these stakeholders and put together all of them in one application Certainly. and get all the stakeholders in one within one. So format. clearly all the learnings from Waycool's experiences and its running will go into what uh, Sensa is going to offer in a bundle package to other food companies as well, both legacy and new age. But isn't that like Superman sharing his DNA with others, knowing fully well that it's the DNA that gives him his uh, superpower, so you'll create your own competitors? Yeah, no, it's an interesting thought, uh, Gautam. But uh, see, if you look at the food uh, economy globally itself, it's a $10 trillion market, right? And uh, uh, of course, in India itself, it's a significant part of that as well. Uh, if you really want to make a difference in the way food is made, if food is grown, transformed and moved across the value chain, you need to be participating in at least 1% of those transactions. Okay. That's when you can really make a change in the market dynamics. Sensa, and that is pri primarily what Vehicle's broader vision is also. Sensa allows Vehicle to do exactly that. So Sensa's technology provides Vehicle the Superman wings to grow faster and wider to be able to reach more markets uh, and 
move faster towards making a change in the actual dynamics on the ground and therefore uh, reimagining re how we would look at food. Okay. Now, a lot of companies have their own business processes and protocols and they customize their tech tools accordingly. Now, is uh, Sensor going to uh, be a one-size-fits-all kind of a product or will it also be customized to meet the needs of different companies? If you look at, uh, I mean, most uh, players in the food value chain or food supply chain, I think there are three or four guiding principles which form core to them. First is being demand driven, right? Especially in perishable products. Otherwise you end up with uh, leakage, damages, et cetera. Second is being that, uh, related to that is uh, being uh, in, uh, very strong in your inventory management. Third is a whole set of planning controls across the stakeholders it deals with. This is true of any supply chain, but a lot more in terms of the food supply chain as well, where there is uh, perishability, as I mentioned. So these core guiding principles are from the heart of Sensa's platform. Therefore, Sensa as a platform is applicable to uh, customers and clients across the globe. Of course, uh, we will be open to customizations on top of the core of the Sensa platform, for depending on different customer architects. And that is something we've consciously built in in terms of the technology architecture itself. There is enough All right. modularity and configurability built into the uh, platform such that the core, uh, uh, I think the purpose of how the supply chain should be run as well as the controls and guardrails for governance is in place, but you have customizations in terms of how users interact with it based on the different business. Right. Models. Now you mentioned this a bit, but I would just like to flesh out what sort of food companies can Sensa really help in streamlining and growing their businesses? What is the addressable market and what are the plans of ensuring that maximum number of companies take advantage of what uh, Sensa has to offer? Sure. Uh, I'll first start with the market itself. I think uh, the global market, if you look at on the distribution and the warehousing uh, tech space, that's about uh, $15 billion annually. And if you look at the farm tech space, it's another $5 billion uh, separately. So the market in which Sensa plays in is at least a $20 billion market uh, globally from a pure technology service perspective. So it's a huge market. But where are we focused on most? I would say it's probably two types of archetypes of customer segments. So one is medium-sized enterprises who have established systems and processes but are now looking at agile transformation in the and digital agile digital transformation and being more uh, tech or digitally native okay also the other side of the spectrum is startups who ground to a stage which need to scale up but mm -hmm. they need uh, relevant corporate governance and guardrails in place to right. be able to scale up uh, without uh, leakages so these okay. are the broad customer archetypes itself okay but uh, 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 types of customers within the food value chain again uh, could range from say fmcg brands and distribution players right uh, who are trying to sell their products to the retailers kiranas in india or the similar mom and pop stores other okay there's a fairly places. wide uh, uh, category then uh, then and uh, that, let's talk about a current situation you know uh, food security is a major concern these days within our country and worldwide as well due to a variety of reasons ranging from the ukraine conflict to climate change all mostly supply side issues leading to a very high food inflation as well now, how can companies like yours and your parent company, Wake, will help meet these challenges without compromising on quality? Yeah, I think if you even leave the whole uh, I mean, current uh, disputes aside, uh, I think food security, yes, I think exists as a global phenomenon. But what is a critical area of improvement in India, right? It's, I would say is less uh, as such on the supply side, but more on, I mean, less as such on the production side, but more in terms of, uh, ensuring that there isn't uh, leakages or wastages of material right. in the supply chain itself. Mm -hmm. right? So that is where uh, technology, uh, technologies with Sensor's platform and the business models of uh, Waypool really makes a difference. In addition, I think what we should also look at is going forward or at least in, say even the next decade, climate change could actually start making an impact on the supplies at that point of time. Where, and then that becomes more important uh, for uh, uh, I mean, our country as well. So that's why a lot of vehicles investment and the sensors focus, especially on the farm tech space, is on agile regenerative agricultural practices, which helps us gain the maximum amount of the uh, from the same land and the same soil, but okay. ensuring that it is in good shape to help us with sustainable uh, growing and agriculture uh, uh, 
uh, going forward as well. Yes, it's clearly a business that uh, needs to evolve with the changing uh, environment and uh, it is changing very rapidly and alarmingly for some people, at least uh, including uh, myself. Uh, and let's hope that uh, we're able to keep our nose ahead of that situation. Thanks a lot for joining us for the moment. Avinash. Yeah, thanks.